I apologize, this is the longest video ever, and yes, I need a new intro picture. Working on it. Hi guys, so let's consider this the intro to this hodgepodge mess of a vlog. Um, I think I mentioned it in another vlog, and maybe I'll break this up into bits, I'm not really sure. Um, I have been vlogging, like I've been recording thoughts and events and places I've been and all those kinds of things and really excited to share them with you guys, but I just haven't put them up. Um, life's been a little crazy, but isn't it for everybody? I know, like that's a novel idea, right? My life is crazy. I'm sure everyone else's is fine. Anyway, um, sorry about that. So I am putting up this one as a hodgepodge of everything and the goal that I'm giving myself this week besides me doing some project life for my other channel um although I did just post a new video over there so that's good check that out um so besides that my goal is to do some vlogging that actually has well I don't know focus maybe you know something I'm talking about um we've just done some projects in the house so I might talk about those if you think that would be interesting I don't know um Give me, sorry, brain, brain freeze, um, let me know, would you rather if I have a bunch of short little stuff like this to put them all up in one thing like this so you can just press play and watch through it, or would you rather I put them up like in little clips as the days so that then you kind of see them like when they're happening, I don't know, um, please let me know what you think because I'm not sure where to go with this, and, uh, as always, enjoy. And, um, maybe I could say and again. I will hopefully be vlogging properly soon. <laughs> Bye. So, hear that? I wasn't sure if I was going to vlog today, but I wanted you to hear how cute that little pup is when he snores. You'd probably hear how be snore too, but it's not nearly as cute. We'll see what today brings. So you guys have heard me talk about the massive cleanup to get ready for our house guests. This is the current state of what has been for the past few months the teenager's room. I know that's bright, but that's my amazing um chandelier that I love that we put in here. The closet's behind that curtain. But this is the current state, and there are people coming to stay in this room in very few days. So, yeah, you can see why we need to do a lot of cleaning. And I would show you me, but uh, from the messy hair, you can tell I haven't gotten ready for the day yet. So I'm going to take a shower and get ready for the day and ungross the hair and... Then we'll see what else we can find to do. I think I said that earlier. Apparently that's the theme of the day. Um, how about instead... We'll see if I do anything besides clean and hang out in the house. Because if I don't, I don't know what else I'm going to vlog today. So this might be your main update. I'll let you know. I thought I'd better shoot this quickly. Just to be fair, the teenager is not the messy one, necessarily. Um, this is my side of the sink right now. It definitely needs to be picked up also. So lots of projects, lots of cleaning, and lots to do today. And it's already probably 2.30. Um, Scott just went to work at 1. He usually works the 1 to 9.30 shift, so that makes life interesting. So we'll see. I uh, have to get a lot done today. So Peanut and I are out for a walk. And Oh, and something scared Peanut. I don't know what, oh, he's going to do his business. We usually do this hill last. We usually come back this way towards the house. Our house is kind of at the bottom of this hill. But Peanut decided we would do it first, so that's exciting. And we're going to try not to get run over by a car. And so we're going to walk up the hill. It's about 80-something degrees out today. It's kind of gross and icky and hot. And seriously, if you guys have little dogs, your dogs need to stop every five seconds to pee, or is that just mine? Am I just that lucky? Peanut, can you say hi? Peanut! Chub Chub, are you on a walkie? 
I wish I could have shown you how excited he was when I told him we were going to go for a walk. He was so excited. And I'll have to have Scott help me film sometime putting on his harness because if he knows he's going somewhere, he comes and he gives you his head so you can put his head through and then he'll do one foot and you say other foot and he gives it to you. He's super cute. So now this little hill has made me out of breath. I am going to go and we'll continue on our walk. We go right down the street, down another hill, and back around the block. Peanut, can you say bye? Yeah, he's more interested in finding more places to pee. Oh, also, lest you think I'm going on a serious walk, definitely wearing, like, sweatpants and flip-flops. So, we're not going too far, are we, Peanut? Just around the block. We've had to switch sides of the street so we can find every pole along the way. Seriously, we didn't get very far. But we'll see if there's an adventure to be had. Right, Peanut? Chub Chub, what are you doing? Oh, he's so excited. He doesn't get to go for many walks around here. It's very exciting. Yeah, that was a walk. It's not that it was that far. It's just that it's up and down hills. It was super muggy out and gross. And look at, I mean, I'm all beat red. You would think I ran a marathon, which I could never do, clearly. Um, I switched out of my pants, which weren't really like sweatpants. They are more like yoga pants, but... uh. I switched out of those, and Peanut, you can come up. Chub Chub, come here. You can come up, buddy. He thinks he needs permission. I don't know why. Anyway, he is even more tired than I am because he really needs a summer haircut, but they couldn't get him in until July 16th. So he's a big, fluffy, half Pomeranian right now. Um, And so he's exhausted. He's going to go lay by the front door on the bricks because it's nice and cool there. And I have changed into a tank top and sweats. Not sweats. Why do I keep saying that? Capris, and my phone is ringing. And I am going to go answer it. Bye. Well, and since I started the day with this little one snoring, Chub Chub, are you tired from going all around town? Did you have a good walk? Yeah. Did you have fun? He's like, crazy lady, why do you have that penguin in my face? <laughs> the back of my iPad is a penguin. Okay. Well, you have a good nap, buddy. So, as I was saying before the phone rang, um, which, it was my best friend Jack, so it was a good phone call. And, um, I, yeah, I, I mean, I even went for the pigtails here. It's, it's hot. It's hot and gross. Um, but it was good to get out and take a walk. I'm hoping maybe we'll squeeze in some tennis tomorrow, but I'm not sure if we can get it in before it gets too hot out. I just, I don't like the heat. I don't do well in the heat. Um... But I may actually end today's vlog now. I know it hasn't been terribly exciting at all. Um, but I think the rest of the night is just going to be cleaning. And um, yeah, that's probably going to be it. If we do something fun for dinner, I'll share. If not, I will um, record some more tomorrow. In fact, because this one is so short, I may wait and put it together with tomorrow. One thing that I really want to do with these vlogs is... Um, I signed up for something called Gwinnie Bee, and it's like a clothes borrowing service thing for sizes 10 to 28, I think it goes to. And um, I wanted to, I have three pieces from them right now during my trial, and I'm going to send those back and get three more. And I wanted to um, kind of do a little video review first, um, so if I can get in there and Windex the the full length mirror in the teenager's room. I may try and film that either tonight or probably tomorrow when there's better lighting and before I mail those out and then you guys can see what that's all about because some people fit in that size range and if you don't then um maybe you know somebody who does or I don't know I like to see what people are wearing and stuff even if it's something I couldn't wear so I think that's on the agenda next for filming and um Oh, the other thing I'm going to do tonight is edit two more Project Life videos for my other channel. So that's what I'll be doing. So I'm going to go cool off and maybe relax watching some YouTube videos before I start cleaning. All right. Have a good night. So this is what happens when you have a really spoiled dog. You have to carry him down the stairs that he goes down every day to go outside and out into the road to take a walk. He wants to take a walk, he gets really excited, but then he needs you to carry him to the walk, which is, well, I'll show you. Okay, this is where I'm standing now. You have to walk all the way down here, and it's the road where we take our walk. He's spoiled. 
and my neighbors have really loud music going. Lucky us, we'll have a soundtrack. See, he gets spoiled because it's a good thing he's really cute when he does walk. So, off on our daily walk we go. Good morning. So, it, um, I started filming the other day and it was really short and then I filmed yesterday and it was pretty short too. I really, we didn't do anything. I took the dog for a walk. So rather than waste that footage, I thought that I would still use it, but I am going today. We are going on another little road trip. We are going to, um, friends of ours, their daughter's in a recital, and they're like family to us, so of course we're going to go see her. And their little boy has a pool party, so Scott is in charge of taking him... Sorry, my hair's still drying, so it's all on my face. Um, Scott is in charge of taking him to the pool party, so they should have an adventure. I told him he needs to try and get some pictures for me, because I think that'll be fun to see what Scott thinks of that. Um, and then we'll go back to their house and we'll have a cookout and everything, so I definitely want to film today. Um, I don't have any makeup or anything on. And yes, this is still there. I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, but it is it is almost 7 o'clock in the morning. I have had my nights sort of turned around because not having to get up in the morning and with Scott working from 1 to 9.30, our days start later, so then I stay up later, and then my day starts even later, and then I stay up even later. So I decided to stay up all night. And that's cool, and I did. And so I always sleep in the car, always. Like, the second the car is down the road, I fall asleep. I'm just one of those people. So my mom is driving today. Um, so probably I'm going to sleep in the car and get a couple hours sleep on the way. But I will do some filming there. And um, hopefully I'll take some pictures of the recital, so I'll be able to insert those. Um, and... We'll see how it goes. But uh, I am going to go and get ready. I'll probably do like my makeup and hair and stuff in the car, but um, I'm going to go get dressed and out of my pajamas. And um, maybe I'll show you what I'm wearing in the teenager's long, long, in the teenager's full length mirror. I haven't windexed it yet. Otherwise, you'd have a Gwinnie V review, like I said. Um, but that's definitely on the agenda for tomorrow because I really want to get those back in the mail so I can get my next set from them. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on today and that's what I'm hoping to share with you guys. And like I said, it's so exciting getting comments on these because I didn't think anybody would watch them at all, so that's pretty fun. Um, if there's something you'd like to see or something you'd be interested in or something you want to know about or anything you can think of, leave it in the comments and I'll consider it and maybe you'll see it in a future vlog. So this is my outfit. Um, it's not really exciting. None of my outfits really are. And for some reason it is so wrinkled. Like the bottom of my skirt, look at it, it's sticking out on this side. And over here it's all like wrinkled and sticking in. I don't know. Um, and I'm wearing my not really Tom's gold Tom's that I just got. And I feel like this dress is too short. Scott swears that it's not. I just, I don't like wearing short things. It makes me very, like, nervous or something. I don't know. Um, sorry, I was trying to figure out if I could zoom on this. Apparently not. Just on the camera part, and that's okay. Um, I'll take a step closer while I finish talking. So, like I said, I'm going to do my hair in the car, so this is just whatever. Um, this is really wrinkly and feels really short, and I don't know. It's making me really nervous, but... I love this dress. It's by um, Ruby Rocket, and I just, I love it. It's so fun. It's got pineapples all over it. It's like crazy. It's, I don't know, it's just weird, but I like it. And I've never really worn it anywhere, but I figure I've lost 20 pounds, and maybe it's time that I try wearing it somewhere. So that's what I'm going to do, and um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So we are going to go, and I'm going to nap in the car, and probably get more wrinkly, so I guess it doesn't really matter. And um, then we'll see what's next. So this is Peanut's patented, what do you mean you're leaving and I'm not going face? And it breaks my heart. We'll be back and your Grammy's gonna come and feed you, and well, not feed you, but take you out at noontime. 
Yeah, he doesn't like when we both leave. But he's awful cute, isn't he? So we are on our way, but we are on my least favorite road in the whole entire world. And I am about to go straight to sleep so that I don't have to- Oh, and the music came back. So that I don't get sick. And I'm sitting here, my mom's driving, and Scott's back there. Where are you, Scott? There he is. So, I'm gonna take a nap now. So we just got to our friend's house, and there is a super cute little chipmunk who's just like chilling in the front yard. Say hi, Scott. Hello. And that's my mom running away, but we're here. So we're gonna go in and see everybody, hang out a while, and then we're going to go to the recital. Cool. You don't even have to catch them, they just oh, show up there. No, me and John caught the same fish. Oh, oh no! <laughs> What's gonna happen then? Well, we'll it in, then it will. You'll catch it? Well, so, we'll, we'll try. Cool. It would be like, if I tried to, and it'd be like, it's. I'd say, why is the fish trying to get away from me? If, I was going in, and, and John was. John would probably say, "Why oh, is it running away from me?" So we're at the recital, and we're getting ready to watch it, and it looks like it's going to be good. What do you think? It's going to be really good. Alright, I've got my baby. I'll insert pictures after, so I'm sure I'll take a bunch. Okay. Hi guys, so we're back home. I didn't film anything on the way home because, frankly, I slept the whole way home. Um, which was fabulous. And now we're home and we've eaten some dinner and I'm going to try and upload my pictures, maybe upload my footage from today and the past couple days because they've all been like really short snippets. So if you want in the comments below, let me know if you'd rather see a bunch of short little videos or like this where I kind of save up until there's enough to post. Um, I thought that I would get more footage today, but it was just really hot and... Our poor little dancer was very tired and hot and hungry, so, um, and then the rest of the time there was like a whole bunch of people and I didn't really want to be like, hey guys, you're on YouTube. Um, but I do have some cute footage and a couple of really good pictures, I think, so I will make sure to put those in this video and I hope you guys are all having a, um, good whatever it is for you and, um, I'm not too sure what's going on the next couple of days. We're going to be cleaning and getting ready for our house guests, and um, I have some things to work on for that, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep filming little snippets here and there and then put them all together. Let me know what you guys want, what you think sounds good. I don't know. Um, I have a pretty boring life, and I know that, but I still think doing the vlogs is fun because I like watching vlogs even when people are like, oh, I didn't really do anything today, and I'm like, well, it was still fun to watch what you did do, so, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below, and have a great night. So, my friend arrived with her three girls, which was super fun, then it was Scott's birthday, and here's what happened. Jurassic Park 3? <laughs> I thought I was seeing Jurassic Park 3. <laughs> I know we said Jurassic Park in 3D. So I got 20 minutes in and I was like, this is so <laughs> I think I've seen this one. <laughs> I did it. Tyler thought that was a riot. Maya, what are you doing with your hands in the glass? Is there still water in there? Oh, take your hands out and go dry them off, please. So you don't make a mess. Good girl. Oh my. I see. Yeah. Happy birthday, Scott. Did you have a good birthday? Mm -hmm. What was the best party about your party? Mm -hmm. Oh, Claire's mom.
mother no, no, no. really got old. It was all awesome. Um, hi guys, so I vlogged, vlogged yesterday, but I didn't really do like an intro, so hi, nice to see you. Um, yesterday I took pictures at Scott's birthday party. It was his golden birthday. He turned 29, so that was fun. And I'm being kind of quiet because because that's Michael's right there in the rain and I am not going in and the reason I'm not going in it's two sleeping babies so it's well worth not going into Michael's to let them get a nap because they're adorable so mommy and the oldest sister went in and are going to find some good stuff and later oldest sister and I are going to craft so maybe um, I'll record some of that so for now, it's nap time. Crafty time was a little too chaotic to film, but here's a cute picture. What? Oh, he's very sweet. You turn the music off, kiddo. Are there little people still? What are you going to do with the little people in the parking lot? Big guys. There's big guys? Where are you going to drive us? Baby guys. Where are you going to drive us to, Maya? Big guys. Get a big Guys. Yeah? Get the big guys. Is that where you're driving to? Yeah. Get the big guys. And what are we going to do when we get there? Get the big okay, this is guys. Get the big guys. Get the big guys. Dance! Okay, baby night. Is this go crazy night? No, it's not go crazy night. I don't have any video, but Scott and his mom took the girls to the 4th of July parade. Then we went to his parents for a cookout, and then the girls got to play in their little kiddie pool, and what follows, I think you'll enjoy, because it's hysterical. <laughs> Scott, what did you do? Oh, he wouldn't oh, do yeah. it. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, that's fun. Now when you go under the bridge now, it's littler. <laughs> you go under it? Good girl. Now can you go under it this time? I don't have any video, but here's a picture of Scott and Kylie at the fireworks that night. I like your nose. Kylie, what are you going to do today? Are you excited? Yes. And then where are you going? Is that going to be fun? Lexi! Lexi, Lexi, Lexi! Lexi, Lexi, Lexi! Hi, baby! You're being so good. And meanwhile, we have Maya Monster! Maya Monster! Here is a picture of Maya Monster with Scott, something they really like to do together. And here are pictures of our big girl after her first haircut at the salon, and the nice lady braided it, so she loved it. And I had to throw this one in from lunch afterwards because Scott and Lexi are so cute. Hi guys, so I haven't posted a vlog in a while, and I have a bunch of vlogging stuff, but none of it really goes together. It's all from when our friends and her, our friend and her kids were here. So I'm going to go and put that all together and put some little explanations in the middle and post that, but it will probably go up after this video. This video is because today we are going to Tanglewood, if you've ever heard of that in Lenox, and we are seeing the Boston Symphony Orchestra with Keith Lockhart conducting and Vince Gill as their special guest. So it's super exciting. So my mom and I are headed there. So I will try and vlog some along the way. Thanks for watching. Bye. So this is going into Tanglewood. There's a whole bunch of cars and buses and my mommy. And we are walking to the main gate. And then we're going to go find our seats and kind of hang out for a little bit. And then it'll be time for the concert. So this is the shed where the concert's going to be. And we're actually sitting inside. But as you can see, 
There's a huge lawn, lots of people sit there. You can hear all the way through. So we're gonna go find our seats in a little bit and enjoy the concert. Here we are. I just wanted to say hi really quick. Say hi, Mom. Hi. And we're getting ready to watch the show. So this is just me. I, I tried not to do the pigtails. I really tried, but it's like 80 something degrees and it's really hot and I had to do it. So there's that. So this is our view of the stage from our seat. It's fabulous and it's nice and cool because we have a roof over our head and we're super excited. Maybe I'll try and grab a few little snippets of some of the performance if I don't get yelled at by the ushers who are all nice older ladies wearing white who are kind of scary. Okay, I'm going to go get ready for the show. So I know it's loud, you might not be able to hear me, but there's a little blip in our plans for the concert because we've had to evacuate the lawn. And I don't know if you can see the rain, but we're having a severe thunderstorm with quarter size hail and 60 mile per hour winds possible. And so they have to get everybody off of the lawn and into safe places. And on stage, the orchestra is trying to take their seats and hoping we'll be able to start eventually, but they'll have to wait, of course, until it's safe. So we're gonna wait out the storm and then enjoy some music. I don't know if you guys can hear me or the storm, but pretty good thunderstorm, so just chilling, thought I'd say hi. See what you guys are up to, I guess. This vlogging thing is hard work. I seem to record things, but then I never post them. I don't know if you'll even be able to hear any of this, but we'll see. gonna be on the vlog what did you think of the concert Woo! what was the best part of the concert Keith Lockhart and what was the worst part of the concert is that I miss James Taylor only because he barely stepped on your foot if he'd stepped on your foot you could have talked to him I know stick your foot out further next time okay okay this is what I meant by the lawn so you can see this is where a lot of my friends will be sitting to watch BNL I think they might be crazy though because you can't see them. But without Stephen Page, what is there to see? I don't know. So we're headed home now. We stopped at Panera for a bite to eat and it was delicious. And it was a good day. The concert was awesome, which I may have inserted footage of me going, <sighs> I don't know. We'll see how it came out. Um, it was really, really good. It was really fun. And it was great seats. And it was just a good fun day. So that was my day. Thanks for sharing. I probably won't film anymore today because I think I'm going home to clean the kitchen. So, unless you want an update on that, bye. 
Hi guys, hopefully the fan isn't too loud. Don't mind my messy living room. I need to clean it before we have company tonight. But I wanted to share um, a couple things I got in the mail. So first of all, I'll kind of give you the, what I'm up to this afternoon. I am watching YouTube videos, currently watching Down and Downey's Inspiration Wednesday. So that's exciting. And um, opening mail and getting ready to work on my planner for the next couple weeks, make a grocery list, all of those exciting things. So I got two things in the mail. One is crafty and one is makeup related. First I got from craftysteals.com, I think, let me check. Yes, craftysteals.com. They tend to get the Glitz rubber stamps, the Glitz design rubber stamp sets. Um, Obviously, you have to wait a while, but when they do have them, they're 50% off, so it's only $10 instead of $20. And don't get me wrong, their stamps are awesome, and they're worth it, and they come in these nice little tins, so you don't have to worry about storage. And I'm not going to be able to open it with one hand. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. Lesson learned for next time. So, it opens up, and here are all of the stamps. I think they're super cute. I think that the days are great for Project Life. I think they're also great for my planner. Um, I have some great card ideas for a bunch of these other stamps, and I'll take one out so you can see what they're like. So they're actually like a rubbery, foamy stuff, and then they have the red rubber on the bottom, and they stamp really nice. Um, they're not terribly deep cut because of just the way they're made, so the one thing that I've noticed when I use them is I ink it up and then I will wipe if there's anything on the sides because depending how your paper is or how flat it is, you could get some of that, you know, side stamping. So... Just a little note for making them work even better, but they all fit nicely in this, and I have a bunch of these, so they're nice. You can just stack them up, and they have, um, where's the label? There it is. On the back, they have the label, and it kind of says what it includes, so when you're looking through them, you can see, and it does show all the images on the back if you don't want to open them. This might be easier for you guys to see, and this is the Color Me Happy stamp set. So I'm excited. I hope the other um, stamp sets from their new releases come out too. I bought one of them already. I bought um, Uncharted Waters, which I'll try and show at some point. And then I got my first Maven box, which actually isn't a Maven box. Um, they had a deal. This was completely free um, if you signed up. And you can cancel if you don't want to become a Maven box member. Um, Maven box is by Julep, and it's $20 a month, which is a little bit more than some other ones, but um, I'm considering it. We'll see. This one was completely free to try it, so that was exciting. I got an email from them. And so they have a little card about welcoming you, and it tells you, like, what their deal is and what you get. And um, on the back, it tells you, like, the tips. So you get 20% off all products plus free shipping. Um, you can earn Maven Rewards Programs, which you can get a free Maven box if you sign up two friends. So if any of you sign up, let me know because um, you can help me get free stuff. And who doesn't like that? And then maybe I can help you out with something. Um, so on the 20th of each month, you get a preview. If you don't want it or a different box or you want to skip a month, you can change that. So that's awesome. Um, you can add on products. And they ship on the 27th of the month. And you're charged that day. So... That's the deal about that. I know a lot of people have already shown these. Um, you fill out a style um, survey when you first sign up, and mine came up as Boho Glam. Sure, why not? Um, and so it just tells you that as a Maven, you get three full-size products up to a $50 value. Um, they select them just for you. There's always a sweet little surprise. You get 20% off, free shipping, blah, blah, blah. Um, and this kind of shows what the Boho Glam look is, which is funny because I wouldn't wear any of that, but... I like what they sent me. Um, so everything came, well, this came in. This is my little free sample. It's their Rockstar Hand Cream. I haven't tried it yet, obviously, but it seems like it would be pretty cool. It's anti-aging. It's got coconut oil, vitamin E, non-greasy. I'll let you know if I like it. Everything came wrapped up in this little ribbon around this pink bag. I've already taken everything out and opened it. Um, and there's all these little fluffy stuff, which I'll save and probably use for shipping something out to somebody. And so with the free set, you get two nail polishes. These are the two that were offered. And I really, really like both of them. This one is called Gabrielle. And let's see if I can get it to focus on that. Yep, so Gabrielle Bombshell. 
and it's like it looks kind of gray but it's like eggplanty purpley gray I did a quick swatch on my finger because I already had nail polish on there but it's a really really pretty color I actually think it will be really pretty in the fall and winter too like not that you couldn't wear it now but I think fall and winter I'll really love it and then the other one is called Clara it girl and it's um, like a peachy pink like it kind of reminds me of ballet pink you know like ballet slippers how they're not really pink they're like peach but we call them ballet pink and I did do a sample of that on this finger that's only one coat of each of these by the way so you know don't judge too harshly and obviously I just slapped it on there because you can see how sloppy it is but um so yeah that's what came in that so that was exciting Today is going to consist of just cleaning up a little, and then we have friends coming over to play games and have dinner. Um, the teenager's been in town for the past couple days. I probably should have filmed, but I didn't. I was too busy having fun, I guess. And um, so maybe I'll film some while our friends are here. If not, I'll film... Ooh, if Scott will help me, I'll film um, the easiest uh, fettuccine Alfredo ever. Um, and it's delicious. And... It's a recipe that I got from one of my friends back in the Zanga days when I was on Zanga and had a blog there. Um, and I will show that recipe. I'm sure he'll help because he can hold the camera. So, yeah, that's what's going on here. I hope you guys are having a good day. Peanut, what are you doing? What are you doing? You want to say hi? Peanut's like, it is too hot. I'm just trying to stay cool. Leave me alone. He also wants to know who I'm talking to, so there's that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go back to watching my videos, and I'll probably film more later. Hello. So our friends are on their way, and we are going to have fettuccine alfredo and garlic bread for dinner, like I mentioned earlier, I think. And we're just sitting here and um, relaxing for a few minutes. I just got out of the shower, so I have fancy wet hair. <laughs> oh well. And no makeup, but they're good friends, so I'm not worried about it. They're, they're not going to judge me. Um, like I said, if I can get Scott to hold the camera and we have a way, I will film the recipe for the fettuccine alfredo. If not, I'll make it again sometime soon and I'll film it then. So that's the update and um, maybe we'll share a little bit while our friends are here and if not, I'll definitely check in before the end of the day. Scott, so what do you say? You're going to help me film the fettuccine alfredo recipe? Maybe. What book are you reading? Uh, the fourth Game of Thrones book. And is it still bloody and is the night still filled with dark and filled with terrors? The night is dark and filled with terrors. At least we can count on something in life. So apparently among the things you can count on in life, you cannot count on me ending this video. Um, this is actually like at least a week after the fact and I'm finally getting around to editing all of these videos and putting them together. So like I said in my intro, it is a true hodgepodge much like my crazy morning hair. So this is me with bad head. I know it's awesome. But I did just want to put a little ending here just so it didn't kind of fall off face the planet. Realize this is the longest video ever. I'll do better from now on of actually putting up the things that I film. So thanks for watching. If you made it all the way through, I'm super impressed. Um, leave a comment and subscribe and tell your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye for real this time.